So apparently something that is causing some minor uproar and irritation within the Linux community is the decision by Ubuntu to ship Firefox as a snap package. This was announced right here on the Chronicle Discourse forums as well as this bug report over here where they said as of version 21.10, there was an agreement between Chronicle and Mozilla to make and publish the Firefox Snap together. And you can see that here it says it is going to be jointly maintained by both Mozilla and the Ubuntu desktop team. Uh, this is just a little bug description, but if we go over here, we can see a lot more information on the actual announcement where we can see exactly what they're doing and what does it mean, who does it affect. If you're currently running Ubuntu version 21.10, you may notice this change. Uh, if you're running one of the Ubuntu flavors based off of 21.10, you're probably not going to notice a difference, but the transition is scheduled to be completed by the LTS 22.04 version. If we go down here, we can see why the change, why specifically do they actually want to do this. I know a lot of people, especially people who watch these videos, do not like snap packages. Me, personally, I have no problem with them. This right here, I'm running an Arch-based system and I even have a Discord running as a snap package at the moment. I like to use the snap package for Ubuntu server type things, uh, such as Nextcloud and other applications that just work really good as a containerized image. I have no problem with it. Granted, depending on your system specifications and things like that, you may notice some like minor performance differences. Uh, but if we go over here, why the change? First, they want cross-platform support. Uh, the Snap will run on all distributions that run Snapd now and in the future. They're doing this for authenticity's sake. You're getting Firefox unaltered straight from the source, which I think that's kind of a silly reason because if you're getting it from the default Ubuntu repositories, you're also getting it straight from the source essentially. And one thing I noticed real quick while editing this video is that if we actually go over to the Firefox install instructions for Linux, it really looks like they have a very high preference towards flat packages. So that's just something I wanted to uh, interject and note. And another thing too, if I go over here and hit install Firefox for Ubuntu, zoom in here real quick, it does not yet mention the snap package through here, but it does just mention the traditional going through the Ubuntu Mozilla Security PPA and installing it that way. Or if you want to, you could go to the Mozilla website, which is what we saw over here and install it this way, which is through the terminal actually downloading Firefox from the Mozilla website, ick, etc. In less time on maintenance, more time on features, community developers can focus on innovation instead of uh, being overwhelmed by the support side. And over here they went into more detail on things people are probably going to be asking. One, didn't you do this before? And they did do this with a, the Chromium snap package and uh, if you know anything about that it didn't really turn out all the best. Uh, they say this time around for Firefox, it's a coordinated effort between both of the parent organizations, so it should theoretically work out a little bit better. Is it going to be slow? Long answer short, they do not say yes or no. They say we don't want it to be. So they don't want to say it's not going to be slower, but uh, it might be. <laughs> and then they go into talking about some of the problems they had with uh, doing this with Chromium. But right here they say building the snap in a newer tool chain, they use Clang and Rust, which is good, and more optimizations will likely result in a faster application, hopefully. I don't know if they're referring to faster than the current Firefox snap package or faster than just the natively installed repository version, but we will see as they do updates, this implements, after the next LTS version, whatever that ships out with is kind of how, in my opinion, I'm going to judge this decision. Uh, but the question I have for you guys is, what do you think of this? Uh, personally, like I said, I do not have a problem with snap packages. I know some of you do, and I want to know specifically why. Uh, I know over on Fedora, their thing is flat packages, and I've also had very limited issues with that especially on Fedora, running flat packages on Arch for me has a little bit, been a little bit of a hit or miss. And I know when I first, when I first installed Discord here in Arch as a snap package, it didn't open up right away. And after I kind of reset the system, after that it's had no issues, no performance issues. The streaming has been fine, the video performance has been fine. I've had no problems with it 
personally. And as far as this Firefox snap package thing, it's just the defaults. Like any Linux system, you can change just about anything. You can uninstall the snap, install the regular repository Firefox versions, or even switch to something else like Brave, Vivality, if you not don't care about open source, or if you don't have like a strong leaning preference, you go with Edge if you wanted to. It, it doesn't really matter. Most of this is uh, opinion based, but decisions like this do affect a lot of things going forward. You can see down here if I scroll around or scroll down some of the first things people are mentioning, that's a bad move. The snap is slow. Uh, they look for clarification. People are asking for this to be deferred. So th there's a lot some negative opinions and I'm curious about your guys's. Uh, with all that said, leave those opinions down below. I would like to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters, Mitchell Valentino, Phil, Matt, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. Thank you all so much for your support. It definitely means a lot to me. And thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. If you are interested in supporting the channel directly, you can hit the join button down below or head over to Patreon and support Tech Hut over there. With all that said, I do hope you all have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.